Some people call them anchor tags or anchor links. Some people call them navigation links. Some people call them those thingies that let you bounce to a chapter from a link in the contents. Whatever you prefer, we're going to learn how to set them up on an AEM page. The first thing you need is a plan. You need a plan because adding anchors is a multi-part process where you have to have a destination first before you can make a link to it. Where are you going to add links? And where are they going to point? So a crucial part of your plan is what you want anchor links to point to, and then to make sure the destination exists. If you don't already have text, which will be the destination for your link, you'll need to add a text editor component and add some text to it. Finally, you'll need text that can be turned into a link. It's easiest to use the text editor for all of this, although we are aware of one or two sites where other components, like buttons, have come into play. You might ask, do all the anchors and target text need to be in a single text editor? The answer is nope. As is often the case with AEM, there's more than one way you can set these up. In fact, even our example pages are set up two different ways. Variety's a spice of life, isn't it? For training purposes, we like to stick with what we think is straightforward and most useful for everyone. So let's get started. While you're setting up anchors on your site, even if just to experiment, we suggest you click the Properties drop-down on the page and select View as Published. This will open a second tab with a version of the page in progress as it will appear once it is live. As you're setting up anchors, each time you save, refresh the View as Published version so you can be sure links are doing what you want them to do. For this demonstration, our plan is to add anchors and links to a table of contents. The page content has already been set up, complete with a text editor containing the words Chapter 1 through Chapter 5 in bold and corresponding chapters below, each containing dummy text. Our list of chapters is in one text editor, and then the dummy text is all in another single text editor below, but you're not required to follow this example. You could put the table of contents and chapters all in a single text editor. You could break chapters 1 through 5 into 5 separate text components. The procedure is the same, except that when you're editing AEM pages, as you know, you can only edit one component at a time. So the more separate text editors you have, the more opening and saving you'll have to do. Since we have a text editor already set up, with words in it, we can set up the destinations for our anchor links. Open the text editor and go to full screen. Place the cursor near the text where you want to land after you click the link. It can actually go before or after, but we'll put ours before. So to the left of Chapter 1, we click the mouse, then select the Anchor Tool, an anchor icon, from the toolbar. This opens a little window into which we will type a brief descriptive name for the anchor. We suggest the number 1 or something. Seriously, it can be brief and doesn't need spaces or punctuation. Click the blue check to save and let's move on. We suggest writing down what you entered for each anchor because you'll have to remember them later. We'll go ahead and repeat what we just did for chapter two through five, then minimize and save the text editor. Now it's time to make the links that point to these chapters. Open the text editor with the table of contents and go to full screen. This part is a little like making any other link. Highlight the words you wish to be the link. So I'll highlight example chapter one then click the link icon. Here's the fun part. Type a hashtag, aka pound sign, aka number sign, and then exactly what you typed in the little window when you set up the destination anchor for this link. So, for example, chapter one, which we labeled simply with a number one, remember? We'll put in hashtag one in the link field and save it. This is why writing down your anchors is a good idea. Now repeat these steps for chapters two through five. Save and close. Now I'll go to the tab I opened with the view as publish option, refresh and test my links. Success! You might be asking, okay, but can I make some anchors and then link to them with buttons? Can I make links that point to content on other pages? As we remarked earlier, there is more than one way you can set these up. The web team is happy to work with you to set up a more customized look when you need it. Please feel free to join us in Open Lab or email the help desk at lsatechnologyservices at umich.edu.